so i'm going to show you like how you can make elementor inherit the font families and uh, uh, colors etc say which you are going to set from your theme using the theme customizer okay so i'm going to this page over here so this is a normally a gutenberg page you can see this is the h1 element this is the paragraph element h2 element and paragraph element this is the h3 element and again this is the paragraph element okay then i'm going to uh, view this page from the front end of the website okay now uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to open up the theme customizer okay it's loading okay fine it's loaded so what i do using the theme i can uh, theme customizer i can set for example i can set the base font over here for currently set to Vardana, i can change to josephine sans okay you see that the body font changes i can set the size over here great i can also uh, set the heading fonts to something else such as uh, pop-ins over here okay pop-ins i can change the weight of the font to bold i can i and i can also set the colors of the font from the theme uh, i'll just show for the heading okay for example it easily changes to red great so i'll just reload this and and what now what i'm going to do i'm going to convert this page into elementor and i'm going to try to do the same and see what happens so i'll just reload this and over here what i'm going to do i'm going to remove all of this and add the contents again using the elementor page builder so i'll just copy everything up okay fine i'll just delete everything uh, save as draft and then again i'll just edit with elementor okay so uh, sorry it was saved uh, yeah, last time okay so you can see over here this is the h1 heading and the first thing you see that it doesn't match with the font family which is set by your theme for example the theme font family is kind of this sans serif and it also the color of the body font over here also doesn't match with the theme font family and the color okay you see over here so by default elementor uh, is set to have a global uh, default font of roboto heading with the color blue and this uh, uh, paragraph text with the color uh, kind of grayish color by default and it does not inherit the font family uh, which you have set by your theme so i'm going to just save it as draft and just go to the theme customizer and i'll reload the page again okay so now we, now uh, the page is made with elementor you see that this is the page and I, now i go to global typography and now like previously if i change the font family to josephine sans you see that there is no change at all okay and if i change the heading fonts to uh, pop-ins you see now this the theme element changes but the elementor content uh, font family does not change heading font family so uh, so what you need to do right now you need to uh, disable uh, this uh, default font and colors which the elementor use is using okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to go to the back end of the website go to elementor settings and i'm going to disable default colors check disable fonts disable default fonts check and i'm going to save changes okay so after doing this what will happen is that elementor will inherit the font families and the colors and the font sizes which you are going to set from your theme directly okay 
so now let's see what happens so to the page this page is made with elementor so i'll just hit reload okay now you see that is inherited the themes uh, font family which is sensory now i'm going to go to global typography and now let's change the heading font to poppins uh, no sorry josephine sans josephine sans see changes now let's change it to 18 it changes okay now let's change the heading font to uh, poppins okay heading sent to poppins and font weight let's change the font weight to bold okay and you can also get the option of changing the font sizes individually too so i i, I want to change the font family of h22 from 35 to 45 h1 font family to uh, 65 suppose and h3 this is the h3 font family i want to change it to uh, currently set to 25 and to change it to 30 see it, it this page is elementor made with elementor easily now uh, inherits all the like all the properties of the all the settings you are doing from their theme customizer so, and i can also adjust this you can see this also changes the margin paragraph bottom margin and you can also uh, underline contact links so everything it will now inherit okay so and i can also set the colors too for example for the headings i am going to add a red color just to be obvious and for the body i will just change it to blue color just to be obvious you see great so this is uh, like uh, so now this is how you make elementor to inherit the the theme uh, colors and the theme font styling that you are going to set from your theme customizer or your theme options so i hope this video helped you out and if it did then please make sure to like this video and also subscribe to my channel so thank you for watching this have a great day